I think it's time we take a moment this week to have a quick talk about the difference between social media and real life. This week we are talking all things real business. Hi, I'm Sam Nordberg. Welcome to this week's mini training. And this week I figured it was time that we had a real life chat. Yep, a real heart to heart. You see, yesterday or last night or whatever time of day this is, I'm not sure anymore, um, I did a blab session with the amazing, Tr amazing Trudy Simmons and we participate in these sometimes doing real life biz chat. And yesterday's we spoke about a couple of things that I think are really important. One of which I spoke to you guys about last week, which was where I'd been feeling really overwhelmed and uncertain. It was because I was so busy doing all the things I should be doing or looking at the things I thought I should be doing and that I wasn't doing that I felt like I had a really bad month when actually I'd had a really good month. And she was talking about trying to balance stuff. So she's living the real entrepreneur life at the moment and has taken her online business to Italy. She's traveling around Italy with her laptop, having an amazing time. But of course that means that all she wants to do is go and explore Italy and she does still have work to do. So she's trying to balance um, exploring and doing the things she wants to do with doing the work that needs to be done. Now, understandably, we don't all have the problem that we want to go gallivanting around Italy right now, but we do all have that problem of balance. The thing that I thought was really important is where this conversation led us. So the blab that we discussed went all the way along the lines of how we're always so busy comparing ourselves to others and trying to find this elusive balance and trying to be like everyone else that we forget that we're not everyone else. So the moral of the story was that we're so busy looking at all these perfect things on social media, everyone's life where we think they've got their shit together, that we get caught up and we don't realize what's going on for us. Moral of the story is you're not them and what they've put on social media isn't true. Anyway, you see the bits that they want you to see. You don't see the cold early mornings where it's still dark a la this. You don't see them still sniffing from a head cold a This video actually, hair scraped back, head cold, hoodie on because it's too cold this morning. You don't see those things because they don't want you to see them. And you know what? Everyone has those moments. Business is like that. Just as it's all glitz and glam, there's plenty of stuff on the other side that's not as pretty. So that's what I wanted to tell you today is a little bit about, you know, you don't need to compare yourself to anyone in the internet. A little bit about social media is really not true and I want you to take that all with a grain of salt. But the, the end of all that is that you are you. Your life, your business, what you will define as balance and what works is specific to you. You know, we can give you the best advice. I can tell you things that have worked for me. I can share with you stories. I can share with you what works for other people. But at the end of the day, you are you. Your business is personally yours. And no one can, for you, work out what's going to work and what's not going to work. And no one can give you an ideal solution. If you're ever on the internet and you stumble across someone's website selling you the one thing you need to be successful, uh, it's bullshit. Because there is no one thing for everyone because you are different to me and I am different to the person next to me. So today I simply implore you to be you. I want you to take an active reflection on your business. Sit down, look at it. Look at the numbers, look at the sales figures, look at what's coming in, look at your expenses, look at what's going out. And then look at what you feel about it all. What do you want to do? Which bits do you enjoy? Which bits do you hate? Which bits really aren't working for you? Which system are you following because someone told you you should, but that doesn't feel like you, doesn't feel right? Yes, there's, there are things in business that work better than others, but if you don't want to do it and you're forcing yourself day in, day out, well, what's the point? So, challenge for you this week, sit and do a really honest reflection of your business, a real insight. And I would love to hear from you down below. What does this reflection bring up for you? Are you busy trying to keep up with the Joneses and do what everyone else is doing? Or are you really building the business that you want to build? I'd love to hear from you. So that's it for this week. And as always, I will see you in the next video.